Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots, thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. Hello friends, I'm back for another video. I did take a whole entire week off of posting and it feels so good to be back with you guys today. I did show a little clip of what the table for the party looked like before it was destroyed just because I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys a fun dinosaur theme in case you guys also have kids and are looking for some ideas. I kept it pretty simple. I threw up a couple signs, a balloon arch, and then the gift bags were mostly dollar store things. They've got some great coloring books, bubbles, things like that. I tried not to do too many snacks just because I knew we were going to do a pinata at my, my son's birthday party, so I didn't want to have parents go home with just tons of sugar. So I tried to keep the bags just little fun activities that weren't too messy and everybody could use. We're going to be getting straight into the cleaning here. This coffee table is kind of where everybody put random things they found on the floor so that the puppy and some babies who were over couldn't get to them. So that's why you kind of saw a weird assortment of things from the party. Everybody throughout the party just kind of threw things on here when they were on the floor and just tried to keep it off of the floor so that they weren't chewed up. We're gonna be going one section at a time just to make it less overwhelming. And as I'm going, the hardest part about birthday parties is finding new spots for all of the new things that entered into your house. So throughout this video, I'm just slowly trying to gather one or two things at a time and then go find spots for them. And you'll see we go upstairs into the playroom and we have to take a lot of these presents and find homes for them. I hope you guys are all well and I hope you guys get the motivation you need from this video. It is definitely jam-packed and my house was very dirty. For anyone wondering, this was my six-year-old boy's birthday party. He loves dinosaurs and he's loved them since he was really little. Probably, I want to say around two years old, he found out what a dinosaur was and trucks and cars stopped being exciting for him. He used to be super excited whenever the garbage truck came and for construction vehicles. And that didn't go completely away, but once he found dinosaurs, there was nothing else in his life that mattered. Um, he, I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but he he loves them. He wanted he wants to be a paleontologist and he's determined to be really good in school so that he can go to college and study dinosaurs. I'm sure there's lots of boys who all had that same dream. I think it's really cute and I love that he's so passionate about it. My younger son is turning five. They're a year and 19 days apart, so their birthdays are only 19 days apart, which makes it really hard if you're doing parties. And I have been doing this new thing where one gets a birthday party and then one gets an adventure. And for the adventure, they're allowed to invite one or two close friends. And then one gets like a big family and friend birthday party. The other does still get a family party. Like they see family for their birthday and have cake. So it's not like they're not getting together with people they love. But this just makes it so much less stressful for me every year. And I used to do combined birthday parties, but now that they've gotten older, they both want different themes and they don't want to be grouped together anymore. So this is just what works for us. I wanted to share it in case you guys also have kids that are super close with their birthdays and wanted some ideas. I was having a rough morning and spilled my coffee grounds all over that counter. And that's why you saw me cleaning up so many of them. It feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome 
too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up Yuri just finished up most of the dishes that could go in the dishwasher. I still have to hand wash some dishes, but the counters were driving me absolutely crazy. And the counter over on the left side of the sink was too dirty to put my dish mats down so that I could hand wash dishes. So I figured I might as well just wash as much as I could. And then that way I can go back to hand washing dishes and finish up. After dishes are over, I always feel so much better after I'm done hosting. There's something about a full sink and stuff all over your countertops that just stresses me out, and I'm always just so thankful when that part is over. We had quite a few kids who came to the party and we did this little dino egg dig. I got a 12 pack of dino eggs. They were just like sand eggs with little dinosaurs in them and they had a card explaining what the dinosaur was and some facts about them. And there were 12 of them and it really wasn't that expensive and if it was off of Amazon. And we set it up outside on the plastic table. It was raining a little bit and so that's why I set up the canopy. And then it stormed, which made the whole entire thing fall over. But it was still fun on the day of. I put out a tablecloth and then I gave each of the kids a paper plate with a dino egg on it. And they all had this little chisel and they got to scrape away the dirt and find their own little dinosaur. And it was definitely the hit of the party. The pinata was probably second. And it was just a couple great activities to tire out kids at a party when there's tons of sugar and people all over. It was really nice. This was the first year that I did a pinata and I did not realize how much it takes to fill a pinata. It can get quite pricey. I tried to make it as cheap as possible, but I just never really filled a pinata before. And so that was kind of a shock to me. If the lighting changes during this video, I apologize. Usually the best days to film are when it's bright and sunny outside. And I do try my best to pick a day during the week where the weather's nice just so that you guys have good lighting. But the day after the party, I just had to clean my house. It's not like I can save the after party cleanup for when the weather's nice. And so you'll see kind of the lighting change throughout the video. And that's because after the party was over, we got just crazy winds and very stormy clouds. And it just wasn't great for a few days. And there was just no getting around the lighting this time around. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof I don't your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets 
started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no sipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. Here I'm just heading outside to take my bubble machine and get it out of the rain. And then I'm also going to go find all of the random bubble containers and bring those into the garage where they belong. And then I'm going to just kind of straighten up. It is still raining and I didn't really want to be outside in the rain trying to take everything down. So I did end up waiting to do that until a little later. If you guys need some canopies, pop-up canopies for anything, I highly recommend the ones that I have here in this video. I'm going to check on Amazon if I can find the link for you guys. I can set them up and take them down myself and it takes only a few minutes. You just pop the legs out so you just expand it and then you push up from the middle and it locks and then you just extend each leg one at a time. I can do it all by myself. I don't need my husband or anyone else to help me and it is like two people makes it a little faster but even by myself it is super easy to use. We used to have an old canopy that was so difficult to use and these ones are just amazing. Now I'm moving on to vacuuming with my trusted little pal here. He follows me absolutely everywhere. He doesn't bark at the vacuum, but he does like to keep his distance. But not enough to leave me alone. He is definitely my little buddy who has been following me around everywhere. I'd say out of the whole family, he follows around my youngest son the most. He's the one that's at home the most, so that makes sense. And he's also one of the biggest reasons we got a puppy. He loves animals so much, and he loves having a puppy. He is always playing with him or cuddling with him, and I am so thankful that we made the decision to get him a dog. My oldest son likes him, but he's never been as big into animals, and so he does play with him and pet him, but it's just not his thing and that's okay. But my youngest son absolutely adores our little dog Yoshi. And I'd say second to him, he definitely is my little pal. Whenever my son's gone or even when my son's here, he kind of follows me around whether I'm cleaning or just on the couch. He'll just sit next to me or cuddle with me. Here I'm just going to clean out the couches because whenever you host, there's a lot of people who snack and eat food in the living room, which is how parties go, but I do like to vacuum it out and get rid of all of the crumbs in the food. We don't usually eat in the living room unless we have guests over and there's not enough seating. Our family, the only time we'll really bring stuff in here is for family movie night, and we do family movie night. Usually we pick a day once a week, and sometimes a little more in the summer, but usually once a week we'll have family movie night and we might have like a bowl of popcorn or something and then I have to clean and vacuum but we do try to keep the food limited in the living room. It was at this point in the video where I was sweating a lot and the sweater had to come off so we're going to keep cleaning and I just did not want to put this off. I wanted to clean the entire house after the party everywhere people had been and just get it all done. In case you were wondering, I did assign my husband and kids to the bathrooms because that is my least favorite job and I knew that this video was already going to be long enough and I didn't want to do all of the bathrooms after sweating and doing a deep clean. I wanted to mop and not just a quick mop, I wanted to move furniture and that takes a really long time and it does make my video a little long so it was nice kind of telling the rest of the family to help out and just take care of the bathrooms.
Today is the first day that I tested this wet vac mop on the area rug, like the main area rug. I have used it on the little mats by the doors because those are super cheap and if it ruined it, I could always get a new one. But I hadn't used it yet on the little area rug that we have in the living room. And so I tried it today and so far it's worked great. It's just a light cleaning. It doesn't do a deep clean. It's not like a true wet vac where you're really, you've got strong suction power, but it it's a nice, simple clean, and if you do it often enough, I do feel like it can really help maintain your area rug and keep it fresh for a lot longer. You guys get to see me test it out today, so that's kind of fun, and I'm really happy that it works and it doesn't look like it's doing any damage to my carpets. I'm currently in the process of decluttering in my house, but not the kind of decluttering that you guys are used to seeing. Like I've put out some kitchen declutters and playroom declutters, things like that. It's the type of decluttering that I least enjoy. The kind of decluttering where it's large pieces of like furniture or things that I have to sell on Facebook Marketplace instead of just donate to people. And I really don't love using Facebook Marketplace. I don't have amazing luck. I do meet some really kind people but you do have to kind of sift through a lot of people who say they want it don't show up don't um, maybe they text or they get mad at you for changing times it's just you have to go through so many people to find that one person who you know shows up and you can count on them and it's just really time consuming I ended up selling the black bookshelf in my office because we really just didn't use it. It used to be the old bookshelf in the kids' old playroom, and now that their playroom was moved upstairs and it's no longer in that office room, we just didn't use it anymore. I've also sold some old baskets that we're no longer using. They used to be in the mudroom and they just weren't working. Um, what else? I sold the two black chairs that used to be in our living room. Now that we have a dog, we need more room to run around. We have been practicing playing fetch with like this little training bag that has treats in it. And there's just not a lot of room downstairs to run around and train a dog and be crazy and play tug of war. So I ended up selling those two chairs. Guests didn't really sit in them anyways. Most of the time guests just surround the kitchen area. And so it wasn't like a huge loss. I did like the look of them, but it's just functioning better for our family without them. And then I also sold, um, I'm in the process of selling the kids indoor trampoline. We just don't need it because we have the outdoor one now. Just things like that. I'm slowly going through my home and anything that's large that I've been meaning to get rid of and sell, I'm like just telling myself I'm going to do it. Before summer starts, I want to sell every single piece of furniture in our home that I no longer use and is not functioning for our family. It's less to clean, less to maintain, and I do love a house that's more minimal and open. You guys will have to let me know what you prefer to sell on. Do you guys use Facebook Marketplace or do you use, there's like offer up. I don't know if there's any other ones. I haven't been on there in a while, so maybe there are some newer ones. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours
if you guys remember, I said that I sold the old mudroom baskets and we switched over to these plastic ones that I use absolutely everywhere. They're from Target and they've never, I've never had one crack or break on me. So I have them in the playroom, the office, in cabinets. I just use them pretty much everywhere. And we switched over to these black ones because I can spray them down and wash them whenever I want to. So it's just more functional for a family and they're just sturdier so the kids can't damage them. I was finding with the wicker ones, even though they were really pretty in the mudroom, they just would like fray and the kids were rough with them and I didn't think that they were a good fit. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. And you're taking me home. I really wanted to do a deep clean of the floors, so we are going to be moving a lot of the furniture and here I'm just trying to show you what I'm seeing. There is a layer of dust covering the entire floor. I tried to pick it up on camera, but like I said earlier, I, I know I've said it in a few videos, it is really hard to show the dirt and the dust on these floors. Even though they're darker, everything just blends in so well, so I try my best to show you guys, but sometimes I just can't get it on film. Here I realized where my slippers were. I was looking for them so that I could wear them while I was mopping and apparently they were under the couch. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless cause I let you down. I hope there's some way I can make it all right Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all i need i take you places that you've never been i would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more chance i swear i'll try my best to always be there and i
Now that we finished mopping the downstairs and the downstairs is feeling so good, we're going to work our way upstairs. We're going to vacuum the stairs and once we get to the top, we're going to clean up the playroom and give every room that kids were in a good vacuum. So any doors that were kept shut during the party, I did not go into and clean in this video. I really do love this house for hosting. Our last house was a split level and I loved our old split level. I loved it so much. We put so much work into it and there's something about putting work into your own house and looking around knowing that you did it. We don't really have that in this house. I've decorated it and moved in, but other than that, we haven't done a lot of projects yet. And I'm super excited to slowly make this house something that, you know, something, put my own touch on it, I guess. In our old house, we did projects in every single room. I painted the entire house and my husband painted the exterior. Everything is something that we worked on together as a family so I'm excited to do that in this house as well but the old house was hard to host in just because the entryway was all carpeted stairs and then our hangout area outside was downstairs and you had to walk through all the carpet and either go through the garage or the back patio which was also carpet so mud was always being tracked in and I had to do so much wet vacuuming after big parties even if people took their shoes off and then all also, bathrooms were spread out and there was only one main bathroom in the hallway and it was pretty small. And the only other bathrooms for when that one was busy was in the master bedroom or downstairs in another bedroom. So every single room in our entire house got entered, people entered into. So before people came over in our old house, I had to clean the entire house and then clean it all again after people left. In this house, I can actually close doors to most of the bedrooms upstairs and it's really nice because I really just have to clean the lower floor and even the lower floor, I get to close the office door and there's no reason for anybody to go in there. So it's just been really nice hosting here and with the hard flooring downstairs, it makes it so much easier to clean up. If you've been around for a while, you'll probably notice that the playroom looks a little different. The bookshelf that used to be in the far right corner is not in there anymore. And part of me going through my house and simplifying and getting rid of pieces of furniture that just don't make sense is also moving things if I feel like they just weren't functioning good in that area. So I wanted a little bit more space in the playroom and their bedroom was pretty empty. Like the dresser that was in their bedroom was not being used so I did sell that and then I moved the bookshelf into their bedroom because they had bookshelves that they had shelves that were hung up on the wall and I felt like we didn't need that many shelves full of knickknacks and I could just simplify and move the bookshelf into their room and get rid of the old shelves that were hanging on their wall. I was going to keep the dresser because it matched their room and it was like this pretty blue color, but I felt like it wasn't reason enough to keep a piece of furniture just because I liked the look of it. If it wasn't functioning, I should just let it go. So getting rid of the dresser means that they have so much more room to swing on their swing in their bedroom and have a ton of fun in here. And I love how open it feels now. Here I'm just coming in and popping a lot of these balloons from the arch and then I am letting them keep about six of them just because it's fun. It's so much fun for kids to just have a pile of balloons to throw around the house. I was at the wrong place at the right time.
I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and for all of my subscribers and everyone who supports me, especially in the comments. I just, I see your comments. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and you are the reason why I can keep posting and I'm so sorry I missed posting last week. I really wasn't feeling great. I was down for about four days and then it still took me a little while to recover after that, but I am happy to be back and I hope you guys loved this video. I'm excited to be back and give you guys some great videos in the future weeks. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I hope you guys get to enjoy lots of time in the sun.